Hey, what's going on, guys and gals and patriots and patriots? <laughs> Man, I done got ready for bed and all that good stuff and seen a head comment posted on my video talking about my uh, open carry encounter by, uh, I believe the handle, her name was uh, Quick Lady. She posed a question to me. And I was going to, you know, pound out a response on the keyboard. And I was like, you know what, man, fuck it. You know, I'm just going to make a video to, to actually express my sentiments on her question, her comment. And the comment was, of course, this is firearms related, you know, a little open carry encounter I had uh, with a local uniform. Uh, her base, basically, her comment was, uh, but would I support a black male who has saggy pants and gold teeth walking around my neighborhood packing heat. Um, that's pretty much word for word what she said. Maybe there might have been a couple other words in there I missed. Uh, <clears throat> and the short answer to that is, hell, why not? He's got a right to do so, as long as he's legit. Uh... You know, when it comes to somebody messing with me or my family, you know, my weapon sights are colorblind. My muzzle, my barrel is colorblind as to the target it's, you know, being fixated on. Uh, some creep comes to jack around with me or my family or my property, and I know exactly what I can and can't do in my state uh, as far as deadly force goes. You know, it doesn't bother me that other folks, you know, other folks out here are packing heat. I think everybody, you know, within reason, should be armed. Now, are there some individuals out there who, you know, in the loony bin and, and some folks out there that don't need to be armed? I mean, you know, sure, uh, there, there could be arguments made for that. Uh, but if everybody was armed, you wouldn't, you wouldn't have... Uh, questions like that was just posed to me about, you know, somebody, you know, some black fellow with the saggy pants and the gold teeth and, you know, hey, bro, what's going on, man? You know, what's up? You know what I'm saying? You know, that, that, that shit doesn't matter to me. I don't care. You know, matter of fact, you know, I got some, uh, I got some southern, you know, some south of the border folks over there. I got some more south of the border folks over there. I got some black folks down yonder. Further on down the street, there's some more black folks. And I got to tell you one thing. You know, these folks over here, we go to the shooting range as often as we can. The little folks over there, I took them to the shooting range. You know, we got us a nice little cluster right here of well-armed individuals who know how to fucking shoot. You know, so, and, and not afraid to stand up for each other. Hello, come in. You know, we got some folks down yonder, some more folks down yonder, you know, that, uh, well, they wouldn't, you know, they, they probably wouldn't contribute to that, but you know what? They're still part of my neighborhood. This is still, you know, my fucking street out here, and, you know, it doesn't matter. I know my limits of what I can and can't do, and if somebody over there in, in say, a house yonder, if there's some shit going down over there, and it's a felony in progress, and someone's life is in danger, I can blow that scumbag's brains all over the fucking house. Okay? that That's that's the way we can do shit here where I'm at. I don't know about you folks. I know some of you other folks out there live, you know, and, well, yeah, you, you guys know what I'm saying. But, you know, over here in this nice little area where I'm at, you know, we got folks that are armed and know how, you know, and definitely know how to... Uh, deploy their weaponry very effectively. Oh, well, Redneck, what if you're not home? You know, there's other folks in my household that can shoot and can shoot extremely well. And you know what? That shit, so that, that shit shouldn't fucking matter. You know, just the, the, fact, of, the fact that that question... I yeah, I got one. Uh, they're in my pocket. Okay, ask for a cigarette and go in the house after I sit there in my pocket. Whatever. You'll be out here in a second. 
You know, that individual that just stepped out the door, if I'm not here, that individual's always here. And you know what? A motherfucker can shoot. And for some folks around here that can't shoot, you know, necessarily all that great with a rifle, got scatter guns. Oh, well, yeah, that's good work. I, some of them are good with all, you know. Oh, yeah. It, it's, so check it out. I posted a video talking about my open carry encounter. And I had some old gal called Quick Lady ask me a question if uh, if I would support a black fellow, if I would support a black guy's rights, uh, how did she put it? If there was a black guy with the saggy pants and the gold teeth walking around the neighborhood packing heat, would I support his right to pack heat? Has he killed anybody? If he's legit, why the fuck would it matter? Yeah. I mean, hell, I got a guy up here at work that I'm helping him out. He's got the dreadlocks. Oh, I think she said dreadlocks, too. You know, he's got the dreadlocks. He wears the big baggy britches, you know. You're stereotypical, got the bling on the necklace and all that shit, you know. <laughs> fucking got 24s, I think, on his Jeep. That shit don't fucking matter, man. Every, we're all human beings. He's cool. He's legit. Friendly with him. Hell, I'd even invite him over to the beer, but he's, you know... He's more or less wrapped up in making money and at work and, and chasing some tail, you know. But you know, when it comes to when it comes, you know, that's that question just kind of that, that question just kind of got me a little fired up, you know, because it shouldn't fucking matter, you know. And, and as far as somebody walking around, you know, my neighborhood, well, somebody there's always somebody awake at my house, no matter what, you know. We've got guard dogs. Okay, good luck getting past those without being noticed. You know, between that and somebody always being awake and everybody capable of having access, you know, to, to a means of defense, you know, our weapon sights are colorblind. Our barrels are colorblind. If you're a creep, you're a fucking creep. It don't matter who you are. You come to fuck, you come to fuck around in my house, you're going to die. Okay, and we know the laws. Like I said, if somebody's over here at this other house, I know what the law is. If they're over there committing a felony and somebody's life is in danger, by law, I can splatter their fucking brains all over that fucking house and, you know, nothing's going to happen to me because I'm protected by law. Now, this is where I live. So, I don't know, all those expletives, I'm, I'm pretty sure y'all see that got me a little fired up. When I get fired up, sometimes uh, kind of, you know, my verbiage isn't... <laughs> it tends to be kind of colorful, but you know that's what it is. So yeah, take it for whatever it's worth. Y'all have a good. One.